And we're live, 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 live. How you guys doing tonight? I don't think too many people are here yet. It's probably nice. Everybody's probably out flying, which would be a good thing. Here it's just been it's been windy these last couple of days, real windy. Gust to twenty today. Tuko and I we went to base and took the cell car out for a little while until my servo <laughs> locked up on me and I didn't bring my tools with me so I couldn't fix it. But you know, it was a good good outing. I, I was gonna run it around and then I was gonna put a camera on it. I was gonna put the, the run cam on it. Hey Dave, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, got to do laundry. Hey, Michael, how you doing, bud? Hey, Randy, good to see you guys. Yeah, it's great to Kenny's back. Rich, how you doing, buddy? I'm glad to see Kenny back, man. That was funny, man. He's getting roasted like usual, but he just he takes it like a trooper. I'm glad he's got his job, and I hope it works out well for him and everything. It's just been windy here, man, just crazy windy. So I've been working on planes. Um, Adjusted landing gear on the AT6 today. I had I had one that was a little loose and stuff. Uh, hey Richard, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. So I got it tightened up and well, I, 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 the little grub screws, man. It just ticks me up. Chris, how you doing? Hey Jackson, Aviation, welcome aboard. So that's all I've been doing, man. Just working on planes in the hangar. Um, I took my hack, got my Hacker XL out and. Uh, when I glued the aileron back on using the uh, the umpour glue, I had it on kind of thick, so I had to kind of take my um, X-Acto knife and make a few cuts in it and flex it a little bit and get it working. Got it working, got everything going. Got on the wrong bus. Yeah, man, that's that's his dude. How you doing, bud? Yeah, I'm an RC. I'm an RC jail now. I'm. A, I'm I've spent I've spent all of uh, April's money and half a maze. Hey Mike, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, man, I've been you know it's been only been since Monday since I've flown anything, but man, it seems like it's been months. And Monday was such a perfect day for flying. Good grief, man. Dude, Jackson, been working on my camera aim a little bit, and Monday I had it just a little. I had it perfect. Perfect the time before Monday that I flew. Hey Lewis, how you doing, buddy? Man, for one, I've had two of your videos, two two streams in a row. Let's make you a moderator here, bud. There you go, you're blue now, so I can see. I just like blue. Just like blue. Scotty, how you doing, guys? Randy, and everybody, man, it's great, great that you're all here. But you know, so I just been working on planes. I when I was binding planes, man, I was kind of you know they're like you know some of the planes that are low on the low in the hangars they get hit a lot in the garage and had a couple of aileron servos I got to replace and working on those getting them getting them uh, taken care of man getting them ready cuz uh like next week's supposed to be good I don't know this weekend looks pretty good yeah i mean you know, I'll fly like, to, yeah, it is. It's a nice day with yourself shirt. I I finally found it. It was in like I wear when I just wear shirts for the live stream, and I got them in a separate pile that is not neat where Linda puts my shirts, and it was on the bottom. But man, it's just like, you know, I'd go fly in the wind, but I don't know. I've just kind of been flying all winter, and I got I got so many videos piled up here, man. But uh, the video I posted today, that was a pretty new video. That was, um, might have been Monday, might have been a Monday video, I'm not sure, or the week before. But, you know, I just was like, you know, and so today I had to get Tuco out, so I took him over to the fort and we ran the sail car. Hey Dave, it's the only Dave at yourself shirt I have, man. I wear what I got. Garrett, what's going on, buddy? But... Oh, the fly on Monday was perfect, and I uh, flew the F-18, and it's like the first video, because I, I changed my camera angle, man, it's like I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing, nothing on the video, nothing on video for that, man. It was just, uh, it was just uh, crazy that it was um, all bad. What's, 
Well, that's my thoughts on the B2. It's, 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 one of the, it's one of the things I got in the link there. And I'm not going to play the whole thing, but let's see. Never targeted, never engaged. But the, all these shots here, all these shots here, um, James and Alex did this office table workbench in their studio. And I think it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty neat how they did this. I mean, that's, that's almost like some kind of big production. Hey, Eric, how you doing, buddy? I think it looks amazing, man. I, I would like... There's so many jets, I, you know, planes I, I want, you know, that this isn't even on the list. I'd love to be able to see one and fly in person. Heck, if I was still flying with my buddies at the beach, I know, I know they're, you know, they jump on every new, new jet out there. It looks great, man. I'd like to see more takeoff and landings. videos and stuff, you know, but I wanted to do it where I want to go to. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's Alex. That's Alex wearing um, Patrick's flight suit. So, you know, Alex is laying there with it and stuff. That's pretty cool. But their video is great, man. They did a good job on that video. Oh, shoot, man. You could probably, I think it would probably carry a lot of stuff. But I just think all their in-studio shots is great, man. They did a great job doing all that, man. I thought that was pretty cool. That was pretty good. We're man. going up to 3,500 RPM. Hold it right there. It'll come up all by itself. Okay. That's what I thought. Yep. And a lot of boost pressure, right? It's right here. That's where it should be. Okay. I... Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought okay, I... Willie. All right. That's what I thought. I thought when I when I clicked that, because when you when you cue these up, man, they they take off. Mike, how you doing, buddy? Aviator Adam, how are you, sir? Man, Adam's got a great video out there, too. I, I would have put it up, man. You got to check out Adam's video, man. I'll, I'll grab it and throw it in the, I'll throw it in the distro, you know, in the, in the chat. In fact, I can do that right now, man. Adam's video is just fantastic, man. You guys haven't seen it yet. I'm sure most, most of you have seen it. The watchdog is on the J-O-B right there. I'll tell you that right now, man. He's good. Just... Boom. Here's Adam's new video, man. You guys need to go check it out later. Not now, but, you know, if you want to check it out now. I don't, you know, it's not the end of the world here. But I just thought that was pretty cool, man. Yep, flying the A-4. But let's... uh. I got I got my um, arrows F86 today. I got it in the uh, in the mail. Yep, that's my big screen. I got it all put together and I got it all ready. The only thing I couldn't get this off. This thing right here, I spent probably an hour trying to unscrew that, and I've tried. I couldn't get this set screw to come out right here, and I couldn't get the one on top. Hey, Lutz, how you doing, man? So I'm gonna I'm gonna fly the first flight, fly a couple flights on it, and um, you know, putting it together. There's a couple a couple areas that were kind of tricky. Like up here, you have your you have two servos for your elevator, and they have to go inside. There's a little slot back here, back here. You're gonna have to slide those in, those connectors, and in the the one for the rudder. You're gonna have to slide all three of those connectors back in this space, or you're never gonna get this piece down to sit. You know, so just kind of take your time. I kind of, I used a big Phillips screwdriver to poke the wire. You know, poke everything gently, poke it back in the channel back there to get it on, to get it back there. And there's no gluing on this at all, which I, which kind of surprised me. And then I don't know if you can see it very well here, but right. Let's see. If I can get it up, get it up right there, right, right here. Your 
your aileron and flap for each side of the wing comes up through a little hole in the fuse. And you got to kind of fish it through there. And I just took my time and poked it down through the through the bottom of the wing and then just pulled them pulled them out and stuff. But you got a lot of stuff in there. There's my AR620. I don't know how that's going to range check be in there. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get this I'm going to get this post out of here out of the fuse. You know, I might just fire up the Dromal and cut it out. I hate to do that, but, you know, I'm not going to fly it off a of, off of gear because I'm, you know, like on my Marlin, I kept stripping the servo gear for the front wheel, you know, just taxing. And I've got protectors for the, I'm going to put protectors on the aileron, on the aileron um, right there. Yeah, I bet it is, man. I, I bet it is. You know, it looks, every video I've seen, it looks good. Hey, GB, how you doing? But it just, you know, went together. This is probably the best arrows plane I've ever put together. Other than fiddling, you know, you, you got to you gotta be patient. You have to be patient getting those connectors, those, those connectors stuffed up inside this right here to get this piece to screw on. You know, just take your time. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, to flying it, too. Um, I have I have my Marlin all ready to go too. I, re, I I got a servo reverser so that I could um, cause I you know it's like when the, when the servo cause I've stripped this is the third aileron servo cause I put protectors on it. Hey Wayne, how you doing, buddy? Scotty GB, make sure I didn't miss anybody. That's why I don't like doing stuff on the show, showing you stuff, but. But, um, you know, just take your time. You'll see what I'm talking about, man. You, when you see, when you go to put the tail assembly, the, the amperage is on, you'll say, like, oh, my God, there's no room. But there, that hole is plenty big to, to get all those, all three of those connectors in it. It just, it just takes little, you know, like I said, I just get it up there and just kept pushing, pushing with a, a big screwdriver so I wouldn't damage the wires. And just gently, you know, line them up first and give them a little push and stuff. And it worked out well. And on one side of the wing, pushing them up through the fuselage, I, I got my forceps out and reached in there and grabbed them and pulled them out. You know, and you, know, you just got to take your time, man. It go, you know, it goes well. Um, the vector, I just put it on UX1 or gear. I know I put flaps on UX1 and I put the um, vector in the gear channel. And then just assigned it to a, sw a three-way switch, and you know, so I, I can you know turn it off, turn turn just the you know kind of like ASX on. I've never used the the safe on on an Arrows product before. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's a pri I just forgot. I completely forgot where to put up. Yeah, I see. I've seen the. Is that the landing gear, Scotty? I've seen those landing gear. I just don't want landing gear. We'll take a look at that. See what you got. New window. And here's what here's what Scotty just put up right here. The link he just sent me right there. Oh man, I like that color. I like the color on the Futura. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I seen this man. This looks pretty good. I can't wait to get that. Get the SU thirty five. Um, that'll be another good good hand launcher tosser. That'll be pretty cool. Because I don't think that's going to have flaps. I don't know if I'll get it or not, but I'm a sucker for I'm a sucker for planes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice, man. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. Snow, how you doing, buddy? I see you popped in there. Let's see, Dutch, how you doing, man? Yeah. 
man, thanks to Kenny. Thank you, Kenny, man. I, I was I spent up until this is the honest truth. Up until eleven o'clock this morning, I thought it was Friday. <laughs> I was out in the garage, you know, messing around, man, and I kept watching the time. And I just, you know, I thought I thought I was I thought, oh my God, it's it's four after eleven, which would be noon. I thought I was late for motions video. Yeah. I, I thought about getting those to put on put on the planes because the nose wheels just don't la on fixed gear don't last long on our runway, and it's not so much the landing as it is just hitting the bumps. I've like I said I've stripped I've stripped two nose servos and I'm done. I'm done I'm done with those. Yeah. Yep, I agree, Snow. They're, they're great. I thought about doing that. In fact, that's one reason why I still got that piece on the front nose there. I haven't cut it off yet because I, you know, I might try drilling out, drilling. The, the grub screws just won't come out. Those two grub screws will not come out. I don't know if they're in so tight, you know, if they put some kind of, you know, glue in there or Loctite or something. They just won't come loose because I was able to get the one off on the Marlin pretty easy. It came off. It came off real easy. I almost think this is made by somebody different than made the. the it seems like the foam is different than the Marlin foam. But you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm no you know foam expert or anything like that. But man, it's just been it's been a bummer week for flying. I've just been you know just trying to get planes fixed in the hangar. Roland, how you can do it, man? How are you doing? I don't like fixed gear. I'd rather I'd rather hand toss than fly fixed gear on a jet. Yeah, I might try that, but I think I think I've stripped I've either stripped them or stripped my um, Allen wrenches because I even I even got one of my I've got some good good Allen wrenches that I that I save for working on landing gear. Yeah, oh, I like hand tossing, man. That's a blast. Yeah, I saw. I, saw, I don't normally. I mean, I have nothing against the RC sailors, you know. And you saw, you know, one of their videos popped up, hand tossing the F eighty six, and it was about what I expected. And then he he stalled it out and <laughs> had a crash, but it held up well. It just bent the nose gear. It's pretty good. It hit it pretty. It pretty good. Yeah, Jude, I I've got bags of Allen wrenches and stuff, man. Yeah, I just like I just like it's hand tossing, Adam, man. It's you you you're throwing it with your hand, it's tossing it. You're tossing the ball, you toss a plane. <laughs> yeah, he I, I, I was kinda it was kinda sad really. I mean I I I'm nothing but you know, I mean I've never met them, but you know, I'm sure one day we'll run into each other at some event or something like that. We'll see them. But out in the community, Tim Tim Tuant Tutant he posted a um, um, I guess a gentleman at their club passed in the in this. Yeah, I toss them. I, I toss the planes. I hand launch. Yeah, I've, I've said hand launch a few times. If you hand launch it, you got to hold your pinky out to the side. If you, and when you're hand launching, you got to hold your pinky out to the side. I toss it, so I, you know, like this. But I don't know. I, I just envision, I envision that the F-86 will toss just like the Marlin. You know, it doesn't require. It's just a dart throw. It's not a. It's not a throw throw. You know, or maybe even a, a underhand. But when I underhand, I have a tendency to roll my wrist, and that that makes it all kinds of fun. But yeah, RC car, Dave. Yeah, that's your bag, man. But you know, this this is kind of a, a nice tribute to put up to the club and all stuff. Show some of his planes and stuff. Okay, Willie. You just seem like a cool. You're dude. on camera. Oh, yeah, One of our longest members of the Radio Control Club of Detroit. 
awesome person, awesome pilot, very knowledgeable in all areas of electronics and batteries, and uh, the guy with all the answers. Tell us a little bit about yourself there, Willie. Uh, I'm trying to remember this clip. <laughs> trying to remember. That's enough. I'd like to hear what he thinks about yeah. all the time. Ever since the club organized. There you go. How long ago was that? Too long ago. Too long. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Willie, for your time. Well, anyway, you're doing a good job this was being a cool, newbie man. to the club. All right. How's that? We'll get all this out on the RCCD <laughs> site and also Ray Community. Uh, you're doing Seems a good, like a good, good. Guy, being, a, being a new member, you're doing a good job. All right. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lutz, I'm, in, I'm in RC jail. But I just thought that was kind of touching there, man. Kill that. Yeah, Jarts, man. I, I, we played that, man. Shoot, we were probably... We were probably, good grief, in grade school and we got our set of Jarts and... Nobody got nobody got one stuck on their foot, but we we came close a few times. Yeah, I don't I don't toss that arrows T thirty three and man I just throw it like a dart. Man, I, I've got a flight coming up here where I, I, you know, if you don't throw it, you know, if you don't go into the wind. Yeah, it's fine. I've got nothing against RC sailors. I watch some of their stuff. I mean, man, nothing, nothing. Just say. You know, like he called the F-86, you know, in this title of his video, F-87. You know, I mean, it's just, I don't know, I think that kind of stuff is funny. But I like they fly off their old grass field, man. If, if the stuff would fly off that field, it would fly off any grass field. It was good. Well, jarts aren't any more dangerous than horseshoes, man. People to play horseshoes, man, you get hit, you know, have got more injuries from horseshoes you know, bouncing around and rolling. And we always, my grandma and grandpa and my dad, they all had a horseshoe pit in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an art, man. I, that's, you know, I do it, you know, I throw them a lot. So, I mean, you know, my, I quit doing the underhands just because I was throwing them up more than throwing them up instead of level and they would stall. So I quit doing it. Yeah, I don't, I don't wish anything bad about them, man, and stuff, but, all right, let's get back out in the community here. We got our good buddy Cliff, man, Cliff Harvey RC Plains, man. He got, I don't know if you guys have been watching his mini, mini bobber series, but, man, he, Cliff did an excellent job. He does an excellent job building everything. That same wings. Just look at that, man. He added, he added these wing struts, which I think were a stroke of genius. And stuff, man. A little bobber. Mini savage bobber. You know, indoor plane, don't or fly like wings. Well, Elon elevator ladder. It flies like a champion. On. Hey, Frank, how you doing, bud? Let's watch it take off here. It just flies perfect, man. He, Cliff is just—he's—he's he's just a master builder, man. Yeah, you know what? I was surprised Adam, man, and I was chatting with him, man, when he was showing the battery. He's going to fly that off a four cell. I, I would think you you would want to fly that big plane on a six cell, just so you've got some extra grump if you need it. But um, hey, Dutch, yeah, that is, man. It, it seemed like a you know it's the. Uh, let's go back and let's look at his stuff here. It's you know it's pretty cool, man. And then it's got where you can buy it from Bam. Bang good. In fact, let's let's go out and take a look at it. Uh, we'll open a new window. Sixty-five bucks. Huh. Now, I don't know if that's the PMP or the that's the kit. You don't want the kit. You would want the. That's the one you'd want. 105 bucks. I don't know if it's worth 105 bucks, but it sure flew nice. 
<laughs> hey, you, you see all my bloopers. All my bloopers are on are on, on my videos, man. <laughs> when I crash them things, man. Well, I've had some I've had some bad, you know, especially throwing it in the wind, you know, throwing it underhand and throwing it too high. Uh, about 70, 80 percent. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Adam, but man, that plane's heavy. I, I just, you know, it's like dancing wings stuff. It's like everything that they've sent to Bit go, you know, to test and everything. They've always had them upgrade the motors and put more power on them and stuff. But I hope it goes well. And Essential RC, uh, the guys in the guys in Australia, they've flown it. Yeah, deuces, man. I, man, the winds were so bad. Well, one time I was going to get a stunt kite. That's when I got the sail car. I take the sail car um, out. Used to take it out to Toth, and every time I take it, it wouldn't be windy, so I could fly. So you got to outsmart the wind. I'm not doing a good job of it here lately. But um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I just I was shocked almost when I when I saw you know because when he's making that battery compartment fit the battery he was planning on using it and I thought you know he has to use a bigger battery but you know it's balsa so you can just cut it out and redo it but you got that right Dave man yep I don't know what I don't I haven't even looked at the I think the tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day and Linda wants or Saturday is tomorrow's not tomorrow's supposed to be 30s it's, it's even stronger than it has been and everything but I just thought that was pretty cool man Let's go out here and see what we'll see what else I got lined up here. All right, so we got John, man. We got John Noon, RC, man. He he uh, he's he's running his jet for the first time, man. It was pretty cool, and yeah. See, I didn't know how jets fueled. You know, like when you you know does it it spin up? You know, you know the turbines when it starts, does it reach a certain RPM before it gets fuel? And that's what he said. I didn't know. But, you know, fuel is supposed to be like a drip when ignition starts, and it starts at 10,000 RPM, gradually increases till it gets to the running state. Manual did say the first startup would be a flame. I think the control module is learning the environment and the parameters. But it is just so cool. You guys need to, you need to, you know, even if I have no desire to do a, do a tundra, do a, do a turbine, but it's just cool seeing John learning, learning about his, um, his jet set up and then we'll look at his test board there's his test board there's his motor right there his fuel his control module his fuel pump his tank so he's testing everything out he's got it outside and stuff All right, Adam, I believe you, man. I just like cabin. I don't know. Oh, did he put another video? Yeah, he, up today and stuff, man. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat how small this is when he holds it in his hands in his setup videos. But that video of John's is worth seeing. It's worth It's worth going out and looking at it. Yeah, yeah, my buddy, man, he, he he's he's a scale builder, Rick. And you know, it's like every every balsa balsa plane he's built or RF he's put together, he powers it pretty scale. You don't have a lot of extra power. <laughs> and you know, he tried you know the Carbon Z Cub, he got that, and he tried flying it on four cell just to see, man. And I was scared to death that four cell flight. I thought it was gonna go in for sure. But you know, I just thought I just thought John, that, you know, it's pretty cool that he's doing turbines out there, man. Stuff. Let's see, Dave. Which one did you put up there? Let's let's grab it. Yeah, I've got I've got uh I've got my Aero Scout videos all ready to go.
Oh, this one, okay. Heck, I didn't even watch this one. I'll watch it later. We'll watch it. Yeah, that's just it, man. He had, he had zero margins, man. <laughs> I would even hate to even try to get out of a stall on four cell, but, you know, he's a good pilot, you know, so he just, you know, he that's how he flew it. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of people that have built all kinds of crazy stuff like that, Mike. It's pretty neat, man. Superman. Yeah, check it out, man. And there's... No, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it, Wayne. It's yeah. too It's too much coin for what I, you know. But here, here we got Nevada 8, man. And he's got this... He's got... He... 3D printed some cheater holes. Here, we'll stop right here. He, he put those cheater holes on it, and he's it added it added. You know, you, he's got all these flights on it and stuff, but it's pretty cool. This plane. Of course. Oh, he did it. I just want to get a look at the plane. Let's go to the end. Where can you see this plane, man? He's got it in a, a Thunderbird scheme. But he did a Thunderbird scheme on it and stuff, man. It looks pretty good. Yeah, Mike, uh... Yeah, it's just, you know, if I was flying at TOEF, maybe, you know, maybe I might consider consider getting something, you know, like that. But you know, that's kind of why I haven't jumped on, you know, like the civilian jets. I'd rather, I like my, I like my little 70 millimeter and the 80 miller, 80 millimeter Avanti is, is pretty big. Hey, Jim, how you doing, JCB? Welcome to the show, man. Yeah. Yeah, Dave, did you ever see the um, Her Horizon Hobbies Aero Scout with the 250s mounted on the on the wing of the um, Aero Scout? They flew that last year at Jet Jam, man. I should have videoed it, but I didn't. Yeah, it was just dumb. I thought I was going to be there. I was going to plan on videoing a lot Saturday, but it flew really well. To be honest with you, it did a good job. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got this guy right here. This guy right here, David, yourself, man, he made his F-18, and uh, he did a good job, man. He didn't think he did a good job, but, you know, like, make sure you go check Dave's out, man. He's at, he's at 957, see if you can't help him out and stuff, but, you know, they're having troubles with safe and, you know, on it. And this was double 70, you're crazy, man. <laughs> Yeah, he had, he had it stuck on safe. It was a nice looking, it's a nice looking F-18. I know Dave had to be here with me. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. We'll watch his take off, but you guys need to check that. If you haven't checked it out yet, I'm sure most of you already have this stuff, but it's it's good. All right, I'm nervous as I'll get out. <laughs> and I'm ready to give it a shot. All right, Mike, man, deuces and have a good time out there, buddy. Look forward to your next videos and stuff. I watched your Viper videos. That nose wheel is pulling pretty to the left pretty hard for some reason. I have a hard time landing a jet on this runway. Look at this turn. It doesn't turn for nothing. But we'll cut that. Make sure you go check it out, man. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab Snow's, Snow's link that he put out here. I 
Let's go to it. Which Hellcat is this? Is this a... Uh... Okay, so yeah, yeah, this is the one from Tower Hobby. I was going to buy that, and they just all of a sudden disappeared from the website. I think I've even... No, I haven't watched this video. We need to put it out to, today. I'll make sure I watch it, Snow. Yeah, I've flown off of gravel roads a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to buy, I was because after I bought the Mustang, man, and then I, I got the, uh, I picked up the um, Corsair. I was going to buy them all, and then they were just gone, just like that. Man, it looks like you had a good day, no wind. Sweet. I'm sub the snow. I'm pretty sure I am. I thought I was. I know I am. Uh, let's uh, let's go check. I was. I was sub the snow. Thought I was. Hmm. Let me go check. I thought I was. Good grief. I've watched a lot of his videos. Well, shoot, I don't know what happened. Snow, I'm sorry. I was sub to you. I know I was, because you were in my... I saw the little the little dog in my thing. I don't know what happened. Man, I'm sorry. Good catch, Dave. Yeah, I sure thought I was. <laughs> Our hour away yeah gosh man i'm sorry snow I, I, I know i was sub to your channel at one time and i don't unsub anybody good grief man that's embarrassing that's why i got your stuff there you know because i watched your videos i see your videos i didn't see that one but we will good grief that was bad man That is bad. Now it's saying my chat is disconnected, but YouTube YouTube does all that stuff. Man, that is bad. Good catch, Dave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many, 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 many thanks. Then we got this guy, man. Neighborhood Watch has got. This is this is this is pretty good here, man. EQ. You need to check this thing out, man. This was like this. This would be like a U.S. UFO. Man, it's like YouTube is cut everything off uh oh we're spinning that's funny man everything is showing green my, U my internet is good Weird, man. Glitches. We got glitches. Glitches in the matrix. I still got internet. My stream is looking good. It should be good. Huh. Is it just EQs? Ah. Are you guys still there? Huh.
Man. Well, this is just great. Testing, testing, testing. Testing. Can you guys still see me? Hello, am I still there? Yep, we're back. We're back. We're live. I'm just gonna go live on on my phone. We're back. We're We're back. I think we're back. I think we're back. I think we're back. All right. Yep. Good. Good deal, man. That was crazy, man. Our internet never goes down. Except for like when they do maintenance and stuff, man. That is just crazy. That is just crazy, man. Getting all kinds of dingers here, man. Davis, people are sending me texts and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Dave, I got DIY'd there, man, and stuff. Looks like you guys are back, but my chat is uh, acting up, man. Yep. Okay. Good. Got good going, guys. I'm gonna have to use my. Uh, I'm gonna have to use my um, pop out. Good thing I popped the chat out and stuff. Let's go back to this right here. It's pretty good. In fact, well, where were we at? We're back here. So let's go back to Eric, man. Our internet just went down, man. It never goes down. I mean, I need to. I need to go to something, Gert. Blurry. Well, if you look at them, they look like they're the same. Camera's right? blurry. That's okay. I mean, that's just a cup. I mean, look at it, fellas. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> All right, give me a minute. We're going to go outside. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I probably look better Man. blurry. <laughs> Hang with me. In fact, let's get outside here. He's going outside now. Make sure you check Eric's video out, though. We'll watch a little bit of it. We'll get him outside. Yeah, we're experiencing interruptions, we know. Oh, there's a kitty cat. I like the cat, man. He kind of sneaks in the house. Man, if you haven't... You, you ought to see Eric's video yeah, on painting his truck, a dead man. Frog at my door. Yeah, he did an excellent job. Laying right there at the door. Apollo, get out of that house. Get out of that house. Don't, you know better now. Don't, don't go in. Go get in. Get out run, of the house. Run, Where run. are you going, Zeus? Get out of the house. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. I said, I don't want no dead frog. Bring him back. I want a squirrel. Frog. I want a squirrel. I want a squirrel. I come home from work. I hear something squealing. Yep, yeah, won't be long, man. He'll have his NX10 out killer. there, man, and stuff. I love the <laughs> NX10. Got my strap <laughs> adjusted, man. Everything's going right well. Got a pet the kitty. Apollo Creed. <laughs> there we go. It's hard to believe that's the same jet as I have. <laughs> Crazy Eddie painted it up nice, man. It looks good. Sorry about the internet going out, and there's not much I could do, could do about that. Yeah. 
Hey, we'll see you, Adam. Look at that thing out there, man. FMS FA 18 Super One. Single set. I love flying that plane, man. That that F-18 flies so nice. Gosh, and man, it was that first flight. That first flight Monday was so smooth on the landing, right in front of me. The second landing was was all right. I kind of I kind of rushed the landing a little bit to get it to land right smack in front of me. You ain't seen nothing yet, GB. Wait till he wait till he gets up the. The inside, there he goes, gets the inside burners with the throttle. Oh, I, I missed that road. I thought I was going into the driveway. I missed and he hangs it up a couple times and stuff, man. But, man, Eric does such, he's got such patience when he's working on his planes and stuff, man. It, it's just pretty cool. Let's see if I got things back to normal. No, chat is still... Uh, pa -pa, let's see. No, there's nothing I can do. My chat is kaput. Back to Command Central. So how's it looking? How's the stream looking, guys? And I'm sorry. This is just bad. Bad, bad mojo. Guys, and I'm sorry. This is just bad. bad yeah, it doesn't bad look mojo. too bad. I mean... It's about as good as I look. <laughs> I'm sorry. In fact, I'm going to pop the string. I can't take it too far. See you, Wayne. Everybody's going to dinner. All right, let's get let's go out here. Let's we got a few other good ones going. Um, Kyler had some good stuff he put out. This is his intro here, but yeah, you know, if you haven't checked out Kyler's video and stuff, man. He had a real plane land at his at his airport here. We're good. We're off the runway. He's coming in. Just touched down. You see it right there. It's taxiing, taxiing down the runway. Oh, birds. Pretty cool, though. Looks like a bonanza or something like that. Man, that's pretty cool, though. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. Things happen, man. Life happens. You just can't. You got to laugh it off and go with it, man. That's all. That's all you can do. That was pretty cool, man. Eric, Eric's got some pretty. I mean, not Eric, but um, Kyler's got some pretty good videos up there. That he put up, man. Excellent flyer, man. He is. He's an excellent flyer. What's bad is I can't see. There we go. I'm gonna have to. Sh I gotta. Sh I gotta shrink some stuff around on this other monitor. There we go. So now I can see the stream. Perfect. Now I can see the chat. That's why I always pop the chat out, man, just in case something happens. But I'm just. That's just the military in me, I guess. But. Wow, that's going to be something to see, that big B-17. Did you ever put that, didn't you get that big LX B-25 or something too, too, Eric? I can't remember. I thought I remember seeing you getting something like that. Let's go out here. All right. We got Litz, man. I did this one about two weeks ago. I got done with it. That's that just looks like a fun little, little willy-nilly kit. I got the idea from Cliff on uh, YouTube there. 
And, uh, you know, I put it together and see how flies kids will like it on the field. Man, but let's, let's put out some nice stuff, man. He's always supporting his people and everything like that. I mean, you know, this is kind of sad, but, you know, I know what it's like shooting. <laughs> like I said, man, I had, I had 13 when I had, I remember we having 23 for like a year. <laughs> Ah, it's going to Nall. Okay. When's Nall? It's, uh, Nall. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be going to Nall or anything. I just don't know. Yeah, I had all kinds of plans to go to places and stuff, but yeah, it's just pretty cool. I like, uh, he's got. It looks like he's got a nice shop there. Stuff. Yeah, I hadn't even. I hadn't even drank some water yet man is everything going bad today <laughs> you say may that's next month man let's see what you got scotty new window boom boom ah Nice. It's a video or oh you gotta download to play it? Okay. Ah. That's a good way to toss planes right there. One of my favorite planes. But let's let's see. Let's let's just keep driving on here. I mean, let's see. Then Master Malpass, we've seen him in some. He, he doesn't really come in any, any of the live streams, but he comments on videos and stuff. And I'm pretty sure he's still sub to me and stuff. But those little e-machine planes, man, they're they're like. A, hey Dave, this is the first time I've had big technical difficulties other than than what. When, when I used my boss, my Bose headphones, I had two mics going once. So, you know, I can count. I can count the glitches on probably four fingers, three fingers, other than just me hitting the wrong, clicking the wrong thing. I keep it simple and really focus. And I'm pretty sure he's flying in somewhere in Europe, just by the way the houses look and all the solar on them. But I don't know if you've ever flown one of those e-machine planes or not, man. But they fly really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like it when you do the Magic 8 Ball, Dave. That's funny, man. Heck, I, I, I wanted one of those on my uh, desk at work, you know. I used to have one of those staples thing, you know, that's easy, that was easy, <laughs> that was easy. People would come in and stuff. It worked pretty well. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you're dealing with the internet, you know, companies, like, I, I had no control over the internet going down, you know. And as windy as it is, I don't know, the wind's kind of died down, so. Yep, that E-Machine P-51, um, um. My, my buddy that uh, that I fly with all the time and stuff, I mean, he he had one and it flew it flew really well. That's the first time I ever saw one in purpose in person in purpose on purpose in purpose. Blah blah. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is great here, man. This is a scratch built giant big old F A Hornet uh, running 12s. And it's um, just wing it. John put it up, man. And it, hey Brian, how you doing, bud? Thanks for coming by, man. This thing is just awesome, man. You gotta watch this video. Right. It does a lot of slow alpha with Time it. Time to get your box on. And John, ladies John, and gentlemen. John does a good job. It man. is time for the box jet. The and the and stuff. And really, all box like jet that, means man? is that this is like like you a sports a scale, semi scale alpha, model. Really, man. That isn't oh, exactly, maybe, maybe, you know, uh, rounded and RC all that kind of cool stuff. Well, it's rounded, or, but um, take up anyway, Brent and I were talking, and this is almost like you would have seen back in the 90s or 80s, like a fun man. scale, yeah, you know, cool, man. jet. Um, I think that's so, off of the, anyways, these are I think ultra said it's light. off of the 20, uh, F-18. Uh, 
supported. It's got a uh, single 120 fan in it. That thing just looks so great and, uh, in the air, man. It's got a 120 ESC. It's flying on 12S. So two six cell batteries. You gotta check that out. Man. That's all I'm gonna play John's video and stuff. But you know, it looks like a lot of you have seen it and stuff. And he, he's coming to Seth. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it. Seth's not very far from me at all to go. To, and I'm gonna try to go because he's coming to Seth, and I want to go there just to see him, just to meet him. So we've ch we've been chatting on RC groups and YouTube for good grief, man, for eight nine years. You know, because he's an army guy too, and he's still doing this stuff. Yeah, it just looks it looks great, and it flies. It's just such a fantastic flyer, man. Like the alpha stuff he does towards the end of the video is just amazing, man. That thing would be a head turner wherever you took it. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, this is pretty cool. This is Spencer. Spencer doesn't put up a lot of videos, man. He's he's going by slap nuts now. You know, I don't even know if he's in here and stuff, you know. But it's pretty cool. One of my favorite planes that I don't have is the T-33. But, you know, when, when Spencer right. posts stuff, it's Let's pretty good. Bring her back. I don't know. Yeah. You'd have to look you it up, Jim. You'd have to look it up too, or what? It's coming up pretty quick. It's in, it's in Georgia. It's it's about where Perry's at. Or, um, no, there's Tui standing right there's, on the runway. There's Jeff Tui. And they're busting, busting him for standing in the middle of the runway. I don't think Spencer's flying this. I think he's filming it. Somebody else is flying it and stuff. But he has a great flight. And we'll, we'll, we'll get down. We'll cheat down to the... We'll cheat down to the landing. There's something about a T-33, man. It just looks so awesome. Because I, you know, I got a discus launch glider that I that I fly. I, I haven't videoed it too much, and I haven't flown it in probably three, four years. But there's a there's a, some guys that used to come come down to our to park and fly with us, and they go to they go to, they go to Seth every year. He had a nice landing, man. That runway there, I know that runway could bounce and stuff like that, man. There's not much you can do against that kind of stuff. But I'm looking forward. What's my time? I gotta watch my time. All right, we're getting close. But I'm really looking forward to, to maintaining maintaining the the F86. I think it's gonna toss just fine. Um, it seems the foam seems softer than than what's on the Marlin because it's it's pretty easy to dent it. It just seems different. But it looks it looks good, man. It's gonna look good in the air. I just. It's gonna ah uh, now thirty nine a real one I I've just I've watched some real ones on YouTube YouTube videos of L thirty nines but I've never never seen one in person then we got Samuel Sherwood he's another sub sub here he's got two subs as well and stuff but he has a good time flying man. He's flying the FMS 1400 millimeter Tiger. He has a nice flight. But you can fix that, can't you? Well, yeah. You want to check out Sam? I can't remember yeah, how the landing. Cut in the wind. I think the landing went well too. But check his video out, man. Check check Sam out. You know, he's just 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 somebody like us out there having fun. Yeah, I knew it was coming up this month. Yep. Yeah, I'll probably we'll pro I'll probably just we'll probably just get up early Saturday and drive out there and just spend all day Saturday there hanging around. Or maybe Friday. Cause Andersonville is it's like maybe three two and a half to three hours away with a stop.
Okay, just take your time, man. A catastrophe, just take your time. Yeah, that was my problem, man. I rushed right in. My first first plane was the C-47, Dynam C-47. And luckily, Rick, Rick saw me flying. He was flying at the same park I was. And he came over, do you mind if I give you some advice and help you out? You know, and I was like, no, please, please, please. <laughs> it started a long friendship, man. Yeah, I think that would really be worth going there to that. In fact, I might I might run out there one day during the week and see it. Oh, at fun in the sun. Yeah, that'd be nice to go down there. My buddies, they would all go always go down to it too. They like that. Yeah, my chat, my chat in OBS is still still froze, but I got my chat right here. But let's see, what else do we got out here? We got this, yeah, 3D. I'm just gonna go through these pretty quick. You guys are gonna have to watch them because I don't want to go. I don't want to go forever. I don't want to be a three-hour show. Then, then um, me flyer. You see him a lot in the streams, flying the twin Nova. Then we got Dutch. This is this is a quick video here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Man, that looks so like such a cool plane. It really looked good, Dutch. Boom! Go post score. Da do. <laughs> Make sure I'm still subbed the du. Yep, I'm still subbed the Dutch. Yep, same here. Same here, Jude. That's what I had. Yep. I still got the I still got the plane I learned on. I still got it. I, I flattened the wing and then I put I cut ailerons on it with a uh with duct tape and that thing still flies. We'll get it out. And then CTR flying here, he's he's got a, he's gotta put a montage video up of flying and stuff. It's pretty cool. And then this is this is the last one that I picked, and this just popped up. I don't know, but this guy's flying. He's gonna fly a MiG-15, and man, it's pretty cool. This is the instructor, and he's going through all the checklist on this plane of, of what all. This is a 1954 MiG that they fly, and yep, Dutch, you sure did, man. I don't know how many times, man. I've 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 caught. I've caught planes in in um, soccer goals. I've flown planes in the soccer goals. I've I've hit rugby posts. I've hit you name it. I've hit it, man. Yeah, and then Eric, man, this was just so cool, just so darn cool, man. These guys flying this this big MIG. Well, gee, it, it, the whole thing is worth seeing, and it's how you have to. Because because of your use of nitrogen to move move all the surfaces and stuff like that, set the flaps, set the ailerons. <laughs> all right, Snow. Attachment. At power. That's right. Now nice and easy. Just, Full power. I just, I just yeah, the startup is wild. All Take the halfway up. Me. This Very is how you nice. have to do everything in sequence. All engine gauges are good. What's your EGT showing? Can you see it? Uh, yeah, 600. That's perfect. You got to watch your fuel and time your fuel in your tank. You got rudders? Yep. And if you pull it too much, you stall. Yep, right now, <laughs> just a touch up. Right there, no higher. Okay. Hold that. Look at that. Huh? Yeah. Reach for the gear, push it on the handle, and bring it up. Okay. Whoa, easy buddy. Whoa! Whoa. His cup are saying whoa is never good. <laughs> that is just so cool though. You guys need to you guys you know if you don't check out anything, don't watch one of my videos. Go watch that video, man. It's worth seeing. Yeah. That is just so yeah, he does a touch and go and stuff and everything like that and he doesn't do a lot of debrief at the end and stuff, but um, 
we've been battling for an hour. I, I want to thank everybody for um, watching the videos, uh, for subbing. Um, you know, we're, cro we're, cro we're, we're, we're growing. The team is getting bigger and bigger. But, you know, if you just watch the videos, heck, if you don't want to sub, don't sub. And I'm sorry if ever you, 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 you see me not sub to your channel, you know, please let me know. Because I know, Snow, I was sub to your channel. There's no doubt about it. I, I was sub to your channel. And I'm, I'm, I don't know what happened. I just, I just don't know. And catastrophe, come back, come back when I can make you, uh, make you a live stream monitor. Everything is out of whack tonight when our, when I lost our internet. But um, hopefully the winds will die for people and you get to fly. If you got the arrows, man, I think it's going to be a great. I think it's going to be great. It does have plastic here on the nose, so that's good. The nose has a plastic ring around it. Um, I have some little protectors that I'm going to put. In fact, I made some. I made some out of wood for my kit protectors for the um, the aileron because I lost two on the other because our ground is really hard. So I th I'm going to put something on there tomorrow because it'll probably be too windy to fly. I've got. I bought those connectors for the. Um, Free wing um, hand toss flight line P51. This thing just feels great. The CG is like 120 or 130 to 140, so it's way back here. So it, it and I put it. It's right back here. I put a uh, hey Newts, welcome back, bud. We uh, we showed your Jeff startup. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about reversing these. I might do that, Dutch or, or Snow. That's a good idea. Cause I get grass, grass man. You gotta see how my fans, my the fans on my my um, E Flight F15 that I fly all the time, man. That thing has got it's got like mud. <laughs> Everything's a mud caked around that and everything. Yeah, yep, I thought that too. Yep, 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 Jace, Jim, yep. But I, I, I got a balsa on the Marlin. I'm going to try that on it. Now that I got a servo reverser, I bought two, two servo reversers off of Amazon. All right. Sub to me, buddy. I sub to you. We'll get, we'll get you subbed up as much as we can. We can't really talk about that. Sub sandwiches are good. Hey Roach, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, if anybody's got an, a free wing F20 or yeah F22 they want to get rid of, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't mind having one, man. But um, all right, guys, up we're gonna shut her down. It's it, it's been it's been fun tonight. Um, check out the links in the description. Watch some of those videos, man. Hey Lyndon, how are you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming by. Um, you know, watch everybody's video. Everybody's starting to post videos now, man. I spend, gosh, I spend, I don't know, I spend a couple hours. Nah, your stuff's, no, your stuff's not boring, man. You do a good job. It's interesting, man. I like watching people fly in different parts of the, the, the world, you know. Yeah, it'd be great, Dave. Maybe you ought to come down and try flying off the, you know, 1500. I don't know how. I think our runway is 3,000 3, feet or something. It's it's not or not quite a half a mile, you know. But if you don't get off in that, that where I fly, where I drive and, and funks out. Fred, how you doing, buddy, man? Thanks for coming by. It was great having Kenny back. I want to say that again. Yep. It's great having the bus driver back. Yes, except for he messed me up, man. Like I like I said earlier in the show, I thought I thought everything was I thought it was um, t until until eleven when I went to watch the motion show that comes on tomorrow. I thought today was Friday, but that's what happens when you're retired, man. You know, you, you set your clock by live streams, you know, and things like that. And when hey Paul, how you doing, buddy? We're just getting ready to shut her down, man. I could go, I could go longer, but you know, it's just like uh, 
and then let's see I'm not I, I'm not even sure what's going on here what's being seen because my my um, OBS is all froze up but we're running we're running everything off of that but getting ready to fly this man it's gonna be good this thing here I'm gonna try I'm gonna try getting it off tomorrow I don't really want to cut it off in case I do want to put it back on for wheels but um, yeah, I just got. See, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure it'll toss, toss well from back here. You know, because I'm pretty sure if, if it's, if it's got the same fan in, in that the Marlin has, and this almost feels lighter than the Marlin, it should just practically take off from your hands. My Marlin's back to flying again. I'm excited. I want to thank everybody that's that's supported the channel channel in many ways. I really appreciate it. Um, and you know we're we're trucking towards the one k. In fact, I was when my when our house internet went down, man, I was gonna fire it up on the phone, and then I think Dave sent me a text saying you're back up, and I saw on the stream that I was back up and everything. Yeah, there's there's one in the top on the servo. You take the servo the um, the servo control horn off the top. And then it should drop down through, but I can't get that one off either. That one won't come off either. So if I could do that, you know, I would drop it down, but we'll get it off. I'm hoping it. I'm hoping it flies as great as the Marlin does. I've got my throws set. Um, I've got seventy. Oh no, nah. no, Lyndon, don't worry about it, man. It just you know you thought about it that's good enough you know we're just like having fun so i'm sure it's gonna i'm sure the flight's gonna go well and with the battery the 2200 sitting in there you know like right right up not quite all the way up to the receiver it seems like it, the cg is good in the instructions it says if you fly the recommended battery and you put it on there you know they've got the velcro um they've got the hooks on the butt on the bottom of the battery tray and for the battery and um, it should be all right you know but just you know just you know, like when you're putting yours together you got you have to tuck all there's three servo connectors that you have to tuck into this piece right here you have to push them up inside here or you're never going to get the tail pieces on yeah, it goes on with three screws the wings the wings go on the four screws and um, Yep, and we'll go over this one more time. You got you, right here, right here. You have to tuck the aileron and the flap leads up both sides of the fuselage. Through there's a hole for them, and it'll go through them. You just got to be patient and tuck, pull them up. I kind of pushed them up with a big, big Phillips, and and forceps. When I got my forceps, it was game match and set. I could just reach in there and grab them and pull them through, and everything. But, you know, if you got this jet, man, post videos of flying it. The flight's going to go well. I'm, I'm always psyched to fly something new. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut this off. I don't even know how YouTube, but thanks, everybody, for coming by, for watching, for watching the videos. Try to watch your videos. Try to I try to comment. I like comments. It takes a long time, Bill. <laughs> hey, Bill. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I might try it. I, I would get the heat gun. I've got a heat gun, but I'm afraid I'd tear the foam up. Honestly, I'm not going to worry about it that much. We'll see. I'm just not going to get excited. I might try some different Allen wrenches and see if they'll work. Try heating them up. But if I, if I, if I have to, I can just get out my... Um, I can get out my... Um, Roto tool... Uh, and cut the stupid thing off or a hacksaw blade and cut it off and then if I want to put it I just buy it on there see what we got here yep RC reviewer is gonna come on and stuff well hey guys man thanks for coming by this is Jeff yeah it might not be a bad eye too Eric I'll try some more stuff before I 
before I get out the cutting tools. <laughs> I was so, uh, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't get upset. I wasn't mad, but I was frustrated. I'll tell you that. After after fiddling with landing gear today, I was, wasn't in the mood for that. But All right, guys, thanks. And this is Jeff, man. And we'll say we'll see you later. Thanks for coming by. Bye.